Now we're going to set up the company information, what credit cards will take, how discounts will be handled, how shipping and sales tax will be handled. So let's go back to the admin now. And let's go from where we left off and click on store settings. And the first panel here is called company info. This information is what's shown throughout the store. For example, in the footer of the pages and also used in your emails that are on order confirmations. It's basically all the store information that gets shared with your customers. So you want to definitely go through and enter the information here that matches to your store. One important thing to look at is the emails. There's two emails here. There's developer email and company email. The developer email is used when errors or something like that occurs and you want it to go to the developer. So if the developer is different than the person who handles the store, definitely enter their email here. Then company email is the email that will appear on your receipts or your order confirmations that go out to the customers and also will appear in the footer of the store and so forth. So that would be the general contact information email that you want to share. Then the rest is just your basic information and you'd want to go ahead and fill that out. Next, let's look at credit cards. What this page does is allow you to enter new credit cards or delete ones that you don't want to use anymore. And what the code is, make sure you know what the code for your credit cards are because the code is always different than the actual name. And this code is what the credit card processors use to recognize what credit card is being passed. Next, let's go ahead and click on discount settings. And this page controls how discounts are handled on the front end. Most shopping cart applications offer various discount features. And it's good to be able to enable them or disable them and use them as you wish. And that's what you do on this page here. You can enable them. You can show them in line or not. You can display notes in the cart about the discount. And there is a notes field. When we enter discounts later, you'll notice that there's a notes field. And that's the information that will be displayed here. And then show thumbnails. And just save the changes. Next, we'll look at shipping settings. First of all, you can enable shipping or not. If you don't charge shipping or if your product is downloadable and there is no shipping, you can just disable shipping. You can show a single shipping option or you can show 